Chess secrets revealed. How do we sacrifice? What does it take to sacrifice your chess pieces? I don't mean blunder. I mean, what does it take to sacrifice in the right way? We are going to see so many examples in this video. How is this going to work? In the bottom right corner, you're going to see players ratings. And before we approach each position, I will explain to you guys how I think about each position. So let's begin. You can see in the bottom corner, we have 1900 versus 2000 rated players. Now, why am I putting their rating? So then you can see, well, hang on a minute. I'm actually good enough to see this tactic. Maybe I should be rated as high as these players. So first thing to consider, I mean, this is how I judge a position. We do a quick count of material. Queen, rooks each, and knight and bishop each, and then how many pawns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six. So white's up a pawn. Now the next thing to judge, guys, is the king's safety. Black's is safer because black has actually castled. Now it looks like white is totally safe in the center, boxed in by your own stuff. But there's a very nice tactic here and we actually consider the placement of the king and the queen. Black's queen is actually more active and then we can actually play this tactic. So green arrow is move one and then blue arrow is move two. And then you just pick it up guys. You just pick it up. When this happens, we will win a piece. Check. And then check. The king moves and then we take. We are up a piece. Let's keep going. 1700 against another 1700. We do a quick count. Queen each, rooks, knights and bishops each. Okay, pawns. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six each. Next uh, thing to judge, king safety. Whites is safer, blacks, well, we are actually covering a few of the squares. Turns out, I mean, it looks like it's almost checkmate. Or well, there could be a really cool tactic coming up. I think it's checkmate, yeah. Because if you can actually check the king, you win. Sneak in. Now, why do we sneak in? Because of what I just said, king safety. If you can check, it is actually mate. Nothing going on on the left, guys. It's really all the action on the right here because I've got backup. And uh, we just take the queen. Now, you guys might be thinking, why did black just give up the queen? Because this is just a normal mate pattern. Check and then mate. <coughs> And there's no good way to stop it here. That's mate. So if you, you if you move the rook, the king can't actually escape. Check, mate. You're actually boxed in by your own king, by your own queen. Here is a secret. When you sacrifice, you play the move that just doesn't look obvious, but then it wins. What do I mean? So let's do a quick count. Queens, rooks, all the same. Bishops each. Both bishops look amazing. I would say black's bishop is better because if the white queen moves, it's mate. Rooks, let's compare the rook quality. That's the next step. If material is level, and it will be when you play higher rated players, you compare the quality. That rook is amazing. That's a defensive rook. That rook is amazing as well. So these two look pretty good. But then white's rook is better because there's pressure along with the queen. Both queens look pretty good. And this is a classic tactic. We have a 17 against a 1600. The king is actually boxed in. Why? Because after check, you sacrifice your queen and then the rook on the back mate. Now when this happens, the rook has to block and then you take it game over another secret before I reveal let's do a quick count queen each rook each and here's the big difference rook for knight white is winning let's do a pawn count 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so white is actually up two pawns and a rook for the knight. So white is totally winning. The next key thing is king is king safety. Looks pretty safe, right? Wrong. So the next secret is you play a move that's not obvious, but not only that, you bring the king open. So the first move is check. But after you sacrifice your rook, you need to bring in back up. Check. The knight actually joins with tempo. The king moves back. And then the queen comes back. It's a really nice backward move. And then mate here. So let's do it slowly. Check. Check. The king has to go back and then zig, zag. Now why is this winning? Because you can't come out. Game over. So this is a very nice mate in two. Next secret. I would say this is a temporary sacrifice. Because you give something up now, but you win something more later. Which is totally fine. Because it doesn't matter if you're down something now, because I will be up a lot. Bishop here. Game over. Not game over, I mean you win something and we can see the players ratings couple of 2200s here and then you're in you pick up the rook white will be winning 2200s face off another secret you bring the king open but uh, it's not only that. I mean, this sounds like a similar secret I've already said. A similar strategy. You just blow open the king. Why? Because the other pieces, oh, the other pieces come in. The queen can swing over. This is called a Greek gift sacrificed. Check. And then check. Oh. And then you swing the queen over. And then... You see, this is the only move for black because you can't stop mate. Oh, and then white will be winning. Here, if you try to run, you can't run. It was just like before. The king cannot escape. Okay, guys, let's do a few more. This is not obvious. Oh, it's not obvious. The king is in the middle. Time to blow it open now. We have, oh my gosh, 2600s facing off. 2700 rating. Yikes, no wonder I can't see it straight away. Ugh. So black, so let's judge a position, just like I've been saying at the start of the video. Queen each, rooks each, bishop each. Now we look at the pawns. One, two, three, four, five, two, six, seven. So black is up two pawns, but king is still in the middle. White's king is safer. The next thing to talk about is development. All the pieces are in the party. Every single piece is in the game. Whereas on the back, those pieces are on holiday. The only thing that's done anything is the queen. I bet she took a few pawns. Yikes. I can't actually see it straight away. I have to do a bit of thinking. Bishop, rook, maybe rook sack. Here. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, now I see it. <laughs> Okay, sacrifice, because I have to, because I'm down two pawns. That is the urgency, the sense of urgency you need. Because if you don't sacrifice, black will just castle and just be up two pawns. Check first. Now, why? Because if you take, I'm going to go bishop check. Well, okay, so what? Well, when this check happens, the king moves. Now the queen actually takes the queen. That's why even, uh, well, I felt this was difficult. Rook here first. Now, if you take this way, you might be thinking, well, you can't check with the bishop. You can. 
the other direction. When the king moves, then the queen comes over. Wow. Check. Actually went for that direction. Check. And then you pick it up. Here, the king moves, and then you take. Good. <clears throat> Here we go again. Let's judge. King safety. Whites is safer. You've got four pawns in front of your king, mate. Same idea I spoke about in a previous puzzle. If you check the guy, it's mate. The king can't actually move, so look out for this option when you're sacrificing. It's okay to give up everything because you win the king. Let's count. Four pawns. Six pawns, so black is up two pawns. Per oh my gosh, black is actually up a knight and two pawns. So black is up five points. You need to sacrifice now or else you are dead. Checkmate in two guys. Can you see it? Now's your chance. Pause the video to have a go. Here's a five second timer. Now's your chance to pause. Can you find it? Now, if you're not sure, I'm going to show you the answer anyway. So here we go. Sacrifice. This check is almost made because uh, it'd be nice if the rook wasn't there, but you go here first. You actually, that square is now covered, so you are in it, you are totally boxed in. Seventeen against eighteen hundred. Kabam. I bet it's rook takes. Come on. King is so weak. This is what I mean. Uh, one secret. Another chess sacrifice secret is you just look at the king and you go kabam. I bet it's rook takes. I haven't worked it out yet. It doesn't matter. The king doesn't matter. It's instinct now. Oh, here uh, take and then take. So check, check. We take this one. I bet it's take. Yeah, the queen might swing over and then we go check. And then we can take that and we can take. What a long sequence! Now what happens after all this is you you up so many pawns. Three pawns, mate. You're up two pawns. 1800s face off. Let's do a quick count. Queen each. Oh, you're down a rook. Knight each. You're also down a pawn. Now, peace quality matters a lot. What is this queen doing next to the king? So that's definitely another factor to uh, talk about. I don't think I mentioned this in my previous tactics videos. Peace quality is so important. Also, king safety. I keep saying that anyway. King is safe. Well, looks safe. King, not really safe. The rook is so close. Time to sacrifice in style. Why? Because I want that to work. But how? The knight is in the way. Okay, that's too slow. You sack the queen. Check. The king moves. Check. The king can't go here because of the rook. When the king moves back, then the rook comes in. Why am I drawing arrows in this way? To show you that you can also see three moves ahead. That's what it takes to see these sacrifices. That's another chess sacrifice secret. You need to see three moves ahead. And guess what? They're all forcing. Check, check, mate. Check. Check. In. Because of the stupid queen on h2. <clears throat> check check mate we pick it up we're just up an extra night i think this could be a fantastic one to end on even though i had the other 2600 rated players let's end on this king safety not safe mate not safe one check is mate white's king is safe because this bishop actually defends all these squares. Time to just crash rune style. That check doesn't work because of that. Oh, let's do a material count. I need to obey my own advice. 
So firstly, queen h. Black is up a rook. Bishop here. No, black is up a rook for a bishop, but this bishop is actually better than the rook. Why? Because it's facing the king. And lots of pawns each for both sides. Four, five. The pawns don't even matter because it's all about the material imbalance. One side has this amazing bishop, which is better than the rook. Checkmate in, I think three or four moves. This doesn't work because of this, so you just flip it round. You sack your queen. You sack your queen like it's nothing. And that's one, that's another chess secret. It's another sacrifice secret. Prepare to just sack your queen like it's nothing because you're gonna checkmate the person in three moves. That's what it takes to finish off somebody. Check, take, check, take, and then it's mate. And this was another secret, another strategy I mentioned on the previous puzzle. You've got to be able to see three moves ahead. And it's okay, sack your queen, finish off the guy. So, check, take. Now this isn't mate because of the rook, that's why we need to bring in this bishop first. Then the yellow arrow is the third move, you're in. <clears throat> I think that is a wonderful moment to end the video. However, I'm going to show you guys how you can all do this. Well, first let me show you I put in the work. Scroll down a bit. We've just done 13 puzzles right here, right now. Up a few rating points, doesn't really matter. It's about putting in the puzzles, putting in the work. You're, you are in Lee Chess. Go to the top corner. Go to Dashboard. Go to Puzzle Themes and scroll down. This is what I clicked on, guys. I clicked on Sacrifice and you can see 227,000 puzzles. You click on this option and there's always, there's always the person's, the player's ratings in the bottom corner. And then you can have a go yourself. Let me know in the comments. Did you enjoy some of these chess secrets? Some of these sacrifice secrets? Let me know in the comments below.